Hey Crafty Family, it's me, and today I got some happy mail from over the long, wide, blue ocean. Came this happy mail. I'm so excited about it. It came from Miss Janet. Um, there was, oh, I left it over on the other side of the room. There was some candies in there. Hold on, I have to go get them. I have to show you. They're yummy, yummy. Yeah. I broke into the candy because Secret broke into her candy and it made me jealous and I had to break into my candy. But there's these lollipops that are really yummy called lollies that I really like. I already opened that one and started eating it, but I put it back in the package because I was doing a live stream and I didn't want to have it in my mouth. And then there's these, which are, oh my God, peach loopies. These are really, really, really good. They're so yummy. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're really good. So anyway, and then there are my favorite chocolates are, ooh, there's three of these in here. These here and these here. And I have some of these that came in a box or something like this. I think it's the same thing. And they are over at my desk because I pretty much ate all of them. <laughs> but I really like the milk of dudes. I just love these candies. They're like so good. Mm, thank you, Janet. Oh, look at this. And then she gave me this. Oh, look at this case. Oh, it's got skulls on it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's got a little skull thing here. We could take off this little tag because it's my friend. It's staying at my house. It doesn't need a tag. Is that not the cutest little thing? Oh, that could be used as a stamp. Oh, I should take that off and use it as a stamp because <laughs> it's raised. It would make a good stamp. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta put that down. Hold on. <gasps> These are those pencils. These are the pencils I got, the creative reuse that I really, really like. What am I doing wrong? Oh. Do. Do. <gasps> this is a whole set of them. So I have like five of them, five or six of them. But this is the whole set. And I'm so excited because I really like these. They're very yummy. Very yummy. So I'm excited to have these. Thank you, Janet. These are awesome. Because they're like the le they're woodless or whatever, I think, is what they are. Isn't that the case? Yeah, it's like a woodless colored pencil and they're water, uh, water color. So you can, they're water soluble. So you can use them as watercolor pencils. And they're really nice. I like them. Oh, and she told me that she had these. I'm so excited. I have one of these. This is the Magic Sponge. And I have one. I, I finally get to play with it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do a video. And all right. So I've told this story before because I think I showed it in a video a long time ago. The, the lady that... Um, made the magic sponge and sold it and all that stuff and she also had books and this and that and she was on tv and um now the name is escaping me again is it d yeah d is her name d something anyway like years and years and years and years ago i really wanted the magic sponge they showed it on tv i wanted it and this was like, God, back in the 90s. And I was like, oh, someday I'm going to get that, you know, when I have money. Because at the time, I didn't have no money. And I was like, someday I'm going to get the magic sponge. Because that just looks like a lot of fun. And I wanted it really bad back then. And I was like, dang, I can't get it. And that commercial just cracked me up. Where she was like, oh, look, color. Oh. And she would get all excited. And now they've made like a YouTube, like funny video about it. That's gone like completely viral. Making fun of her a little bit. But it's really funny. Um, anyway, so I saw the video where they were like, I saw that video where they were kind of like cutting it together to make her look like she was just going, oh, 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 look at that, you know, like all excited. <laughs> and um, so I was like, oh, I said, I remember that. And I wanted that so bad. I'm gonna, like, I was like on the computer. I got to see if I could find it. So I'm looking up rainbow spawns. I couldn't find anybody. Everybody was either sold out or they didn't make it anymore. It was discontinued. And then I found the maker of it. And I found an email. It took me forever. And I found an email. And I emailed this 
company that I thought, you know, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe they have one. And I said, is there any possibility that you still sell the magic sponge? And the person came back to me and they're like, no, sorry, we don't. And I was, and I messaged back and I was like, oh, that sucks. I, cause, and I told him how I, you know, I'd seen it on TV years and years ago when I was younger and I really wanted it and blah, blah, blah. I was like, that really sucks. You guys should bring it back out. It would be really cool. Yada, yada. And I think we actually talked back and forth a few times. And then he said, he said that he was, he was Dee Dee's wife. I think her name is Dee Dee, right? Is it Dee Dee? Why is my brain doesn't work? Anyway, that, I mean, he was her husband, her wife. He was her husband. And I had been talking back and forth with her husband the whole time. And he said that he has one sponge that is hers that is left and she said I could have it so he sent it to me and I have it and I haven't used it because like I don't know I guess I got like oh it's what the only one the only existing magic sponge that you know exists and then Janet had some and she sent me some so now I feel like I could play with them because I can have keep that one which to me is like special I guess I don't know I keep not using it because I'm so afraid of it going away so I haven't even used it yet because I've been like hoarding it because my brain does that to me it makes my brain think oh I can't use this now it was given to me special gift from the maker of the rainbow sponge if I use it you know like oh, I'm such an idiot but anyway so now I've got two to play with so fun and I can actually cut this one in half um and probably get more out of it that way you know, because you, you know, you don't have to leave them that size. But anyway, thank you so much, Janet. That was really sweet of you to send those to me. He didn't have to send me both of them. He could have just sent one. That would have been more than sufficient. What's that? Ooh, that's a little Asian charm. That'll go on my Asian journal. Oh, look at this. What are they? Comic Studios. Are they metal? Are they stickers? It doesn't say. How do I open it? Hmm. <laughs> it's like testing my patience. How do I open you? It looks like there's a thing. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to cut it because we going to be here all day if I don't get my butt moving. You know how I am. I take forever. Oh, and this is in the plastic. That's where I was seeing that little strip underneath of that plastic. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Okay, they're like, it looks like they're like a sticker embellishment of some sort. And they are, um, they're metal. I always cut off that sticky strip because it drives me nuts. Um, it looks like they're metal. Oh, she sent me two of them trying to get it out so I can show you there we go there we go oh these are pretty aren't they just the prettiest thing and they're metal they're like metal very sharp metal too but really really pretty I really like these thanks Janet these are cool I've never seen anything like that Fancy, 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 schmancy. Okay, so I will put these in her. Okay. And there's this, which looks like a die cut, but ooh, it's a skeleton. It's crinkled, I'm trying to uncrinkle it. And open it at the same time. You know, I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't get stuck on it. And then, hence, rip it. The sticky part of that. Because that's what's going to happen. So these are apparently, like, die cuts that were sold in a store or something. I'm afraid to pull it out and rip it. I might not. Mm, do I want to pull it out right now? Yeah, I do. Kind of. Ah. <gasps> Oh wow, this is so cool. This is skeleton. Look at all the detail on them. <gasps> These are so cool. And then there's this sparkly thing. Oh, it's a sparkly moon with candles on it. 
Isn't that cool? I'm so excited for Halloween. It's a coming. And then there's all these bones. Because you can connect the bones. Oh, and they have shoes on. How convenient. Skeletons with shoes. They have little shoes. Little boots. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to play with those. I need to make a couple of cards with those on them. That would be freaking cute. Freaking cute. Okay, let's see if we can get that back in here. Otherwise, I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get a little plastic bag and put it in there so that I don't have to try to crinkle them up. Oh, look at these. These are... Oh, she... Oh, did you stamp this? You have a stamp that's that big of a skull? Holy crap. That's pretty cool. Oh, and this one, too. Very cool. Awesome. Oh, I like the skeleton. Oh, that's the same skeleton that's in that picture with the little boots on. So is this the stamp that goes with the die? Because that is the same exact skeleton. There's the little boot. Yeah. It's the same face. Same neck, same little, yep, same one. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Thank you, Janet. All right, get your foot off of there. He's like, give me my, my printed body. And then, oh, look how cute these are with the little dress form. Now that's cute. And all the little skulls, these skulls. Very cute. I love it. Oh, my goodness. What's up in here? Oh, these are pretty. Really pretty. Look at that. Thank you. Those are pretty napkins. Oh, Santa. I can't wait for Christmas. Actually, I can't. I have to get to Halloween first because Halloween's my favorite. I don't want to skip past my Halloween this year because I haven't been able to do anything for two years. So I gotta enjoy my Halloween. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. That's really pretty. <gasps> What's this? Millie Morada's Animal Kingdom, a coloring book adventure. Ooh, these are pretty. I like that they're small like this because then you can cut them out and use them in things, you know? I like that. I want to color them and then cut them out and use them in projects. <clears throat> I think I might do that. Because I have a couple of coloring books, adult coloring books, but they're so big and it, like it overwhelms me. And I think I, you know... But I, I was like, oh, but there are some pictures in there I could cut out, you know, of it, even though a lot of them are very big. But these are perfect size, you know, maybe not this page, maybe like just the, this area of it. Or I can use this as something, you know what I mean? Like they're smaller, so they're, to me, that's better. I kind of like this smaller. Oh, they're back in front though, so one of them would have to be sacrificed. I like the parrot, it's cute. So I'd have to sacrifice one. That's okay, though. Oh, you know what I can do? I can scan them. Brilliant. I can scan it. So then I don't have to sacrifice any of them. I could scan it and print it. And, oh, this is mermaids. What's this one? Oh, Lost Ocean figures. Oh, this is mermaids. we got a starfish. And then we've got two mermaids. Can you even see? No. Two mermaids the mermaids and there's like an ocean scene here and a heart with dolphins and seahorses I love seahorses and all the little fishies and crabs and some more fishies and some sharks and some more fishies 
octopuses. Those are cool. Goldfish type fish. And oh, the whale is so cute. I love the whale. Octopus in a treasure chest. Yeah, I'm definitely going to scan these. Oh, and the seahorse. Love those. Oh, and secret garden. Oh, look at the tree. That's really pretty. A peacock. And there's like a little shed with all kinds of foliage. Oh, that's a cute scene. These are really cute. Really cute. Oh, that's cute. Huh, they screwed up the printing on this. Because, see, it only went to there. And then over here, it went onto this page. So somewhere along the line, they effed up. This one's printed there. I don't care. They're still pretty. Look at the scarecrow. So cute. Very cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Janet, for everything. It was so sweet of you. I really appreciate it. And I love my pencils in my little bag. And then she also went to go visit Mand, um, who also lives in the UK. And Mand sent her with a package to send to me with her stuff. So Janet was able to send me Mand's package from her. And that was really sweet of her to, to even put together a package for me. Um, so uh, Mand, I, I really appreciate it. I know you go through a lot, so, you know... You, I'm so happy to have anything from you and you know I'm I'm just honored that you would think of me I know you're going through so much so um look at this what is this first of all it smells so good it's very fragrant and it's green Ceylon tea I don't know I've never had it It's in a bag. Oh, this isn't what that smell is. I smell something else. I thought it was this, but now that I'm opened it and smell it, that's not. Oh, this smells good anyway. The tea, and I have a tea thing. I actually have a um, and I have tea bags anyway, so it doesn't matter. I have actually. Where are they? Here they are. I have these little tea things. Um, anyway, thank you so much for the tea. I love it. It smells good, but whatever's in this package smells good, too. I thought it was the tea at first. Whatever it is, it smells so good. Ooh, what's this? It's Hello Kitty. Oh, thank you, man. It's so sweet. How do I open it? How do I open it? There we go. feel it. I don't want to break it. Whatever it is. Oh, how cute. It's like a little mirror. Look. You can see yourself. Do you see yourself in there? You're in there. That's where you are. <laughs> this is so cute. It's so pretty. I love it. Thank you so much. I love it. I'm going to put it back in there so I don't lose it. I'm going to put it in my purse. I need a mirror in, mirror in my purse. What else is in here? I don't know, but it smells so good in here. Hmm, I could sit here and just smell this package forever. I really want to try some of that tea. I've never had that kind of tea before. I've not had a lot of teas in my life, but I usually stick to like regular tea. To me, regular tea is like black tea that you would get in the store. And I've had like some other teas, like sleepy time tea and some peppermint tea. This is really cute. Vintage papers and ephemera. Well, I'm not going to try to get that off now because that would just be silly. silly. I'll end up ripping it. That's really pretty. It's sparkly eyelash trim. Look how pretty that is. Not my hands. This. 
<laughs> and it stuck to me. It stuck to me. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. These are from a book. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like the background. It's really pretty. And a little mouse. Oh, this is so cute. Off to the Enchanted Wood. So cute. Oh, it's a little pages from the Land of Castles. This is so cute, man. Thank you. Did you put that on there? I must have. So cute. Oh, is this like a part of a journal that was made? Are these? Oh, yeah, they are. This is really cute. You know I'm going to have to make this into a journal now. This would be like the perfect journal. Did you, This is really cute, man. Thank you so much. Oh, look, a little puck spot. Oh, I love it. This is so adorable. You're so talented, though. You made it. I love the way you made the paper all tea dyed and coffee dyed. This is so cool. Look at these. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty, these vintage, vintage papers. So cute. Look at that. That's really cute. Cute idea. Oh, look at that. That's a little tuck spot with the little gears. So cute. Oops, didn't mean to take that off. The tape came off. I was like, what's underneath of there? It's all good. I didn't break it, I swear. Look how cute. See, now this... I can make all of this into a journal. And I probably will. Because to me, this is screaming to be put into, made into like a little junk journal with some other things that I have. And maybe some of these patterns glued on. Like, I, I'm just feeling it. Something is just making me feel that that needs to all be into a journal. I think I need to make it. Coffee and tea dyed. See? Now you sent me coffee and tea dyed papers that need to be used. So, uh, yeah. These are amazing. So I think a vintage style junk journal is in the future with stuff that you sent me. Yeah, totally. Totally. Thank you so much for this stuff. It's amazing. These old photos out of what looks like a book or a magazine. Ooh, they're double sided. Oh, that one's got some reflective foil on it. These are so cool. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'll make a little journal. This is even going to go in it. Oh, Asian papers, envelopes, and text. Look at these envelopes. Oh my goodness. These are so cool. Are they not the coolest thing? I love those. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. I don't know which way it goes. <laughs> I imagine the flap. Well, look, you can tuck the flap in. Like right here. When you fill the envelope, you can tuck it. Isn't that cute? I love it. Thank you. You're so sweet. Ooh. Yay. Asian newspaper. <gasps> Yay. I 
can't read any of it, but I love it. I can read 1500. I'm imagining that means yen. So cool. Oh, look at this page. That's definitely going in the Asian journal too. That's really pretty. These are so pretty. So excited. There's so much more in here too. It's like Christmas. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this bag smells so good. Look at this. It's an embossed but gold. I love it. This is this what smells good? Incense. I knew it was incense. I love incense, by the way. I knew it had to be incense because it just had that incense smell. I love the packaging. So is it the packaging of the incense? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, wait, there's, is there an incense in here? Nope. It's the packaging, which smells so good. Oh, I'll have to get myself some of this because whatever this is, Tree of Life Incense. I think I've heard of this, actually, Tree of Life Incense. That smells familiar. Oh, that smells good, too. Wow. That one smells really good. Mm, some of my favorite incense is Dragon's Blood. If you've never smelled that one, that one's amazing. But this smells freaking out of this world. And then this one is, um, is this... Yeah, I think this is incense, right? Yeah, it smells like it for sure. Oh, they're all so good. Fragrance of Temple. I don't know, but I need to look up these and find them and see if I can get them because the smells, oh, I just love it. But these are the most awesome packaging. These are going to make so, like, really cool. Like this one, I'm tempted to cut this in half and make two journals out of it because this can be the spine, you know, and make one little one. And I can either make a little one and then make another one to go in my, like, Asian journal type of thing. And then just these... I could even make micro journals with these little micro journals and put them inside of things. And then this can just be packaging because it's so pretty. I can use this as like a pocket. I can make a couple pockets out of this actually. Make a couple tag pockets. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff we're going to do with those. Heck yeah, man. They smell so divine. Like, I can't... I'm, like, big on aromatherapy. Like, you put something that smells good in front of me, and I'll sit there and smell it forever. Local information from the air. Ooh, I love this stuff. This is some of my favorite stuff to get, is local stuff from people's... where they live. I love it. And if you like that too, man, let me know, because... I have your package still, and it's open, and I've been adding stuff to it. If you like local ephemera type of stuff let me know because i'll throw some in yours too because i have some um and if i don't have any left because i know i was giving it away for a while but if i don't have any left chris can pick some up anytime because we live in a tourist trap we live in a very tourist area so he can pick up a bunch of it like anytime on his way home from work oh it's a postcard i love postcards that's so cool. I love that dress form. I, I've always hoped to go into the creative reuse and find one of those old style dress forms like that. No such luck. I found some guy ones, but I didn't want to deal with the guy ones. I was like, I, I, if I'm going to take up that much space in my house for a dress form or in my craft room, it's going to be the one that I want. <laughs> so this is a 55 Mill Street is a place by you that has like vintage clothing and textiles architectural antiques garden furniture yada yada oh i'd love to go visit that place that sounds like a store right up my alley all sorts all sorts of topics for all sorts of ladies of all sorts of ages oh cool that's cool Oops. sacred body art that's cool Oh, 
this is cool. I want to go there. That looks cool. Wild ways on the boral. Borlay. That looks like a cool place too. Oh, I want to visit there for sure. You got some cool places by you. Oh, man. The Ludlow map. Or is that Lud... It's got to be Ludlow. Oh, this looks like a cool place, too. Oh, look cool. It's got a map. I love when places have got a map. And all the little shops that are around the area. Pizza. Pizza tan. So cool. Thank you. White Horse Camps. Druidry and Community. Oh, cool. I want to go visit Peter Rabbit. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this little napkin. Isn't that gorgeous? And that one's really pretty, too. I like the, anything with birds on it or little animals. Oh, look at this one. It's the queen sipping tea. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, and a newspaper. Awesome. So cool. Very cool. You know I'm going to read this. Oh, thanks so much, man. Let's see. There's more stuff in here, you know. There's more. I may have to just start dumping. Because, oh my goodness. <gasps> no way. Oh my God. This. Oh my God. It's almost like psychic something happened because, all right, I know what this is immediately. And the reason why is there is a YouTuber named Trisha Paytas who was in the UK recently because she did Celebrity Big Brother. And she ended up leaving after like five days or something. And she bought a bunch of stuff but hadn't done the haul yet. And she just did the haul the other day. And one of the things that she showed was this pen. And I immediately said, I have to have that pen. And so I went online and was looking for this pen. And literally that was yesterday. Yesterday I was looking for this pen. Not kidding. Is that not the weirdest thing? Because you, I, I mean, most people, I've said this a hundred times. I'm a station, stationary freak. I love different weird pens and stuff. So when I saw her have this pen, I was like, oh, I have to have one of the guards where I can bop its head up and down. Like, I was like, I have to have that pen. And I can't believe that it's in this package. Thank you so much. That's so cool. I'm so excited I got the pen. Like, I'm dead serious that I was looking for this pen yesterday. Not even a joke. Thank you so much, man. That is so cool. I can't wait to have that on my desk. Oh, what's this? And we were just talking about peppermint tea. Mm, it smells good. It's so funny. My secret diary. What's this? It's a little pocket, and it's really cute. Very cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, look how pretty this is. She made a little heart tag, and she painted it and embossed it, and it's really beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to put this. I think this belongs on my fairy journal hanging in, inside or outside of my fairy journal just because it's just really pretty and shiny and sparkly and it says, I think it says magic right there. Yeah, I definitely need that on my fairy journal. There's another secret diary pocket. Random papers, envelopes, etc. These are little tags, like sticker tags. And sometimes, like, yeah, here we get them, too. Like, in the mail, you'll get, yeah, this one is for 
Marie Curie's Great Daffodil Appeal or something. We get them for like the the ASPCA, like the pets and saving animals. And we'll get like labels and different stuff. That's fun. That's kind of cool. Yeah, because I donated once. Or I think I donated for like a year. Because I think it was like one of those automated things. And it was like $5 a month or $5 a quarter or something. And so after that, they sent me, I think I got a tote bag because I did like $5. Yeah, it was $5 a month for a year. And I got like a tote bag and it came with all kinds of stuff in it. And then ever since then, they always constantly sent me st stickers and little notebooks and little things. It was so funny. And then I moved, so they didn't. <laughs> they never hunted me down after that. These are really pretty. Oh, they're double-sided. Really pretty. Those are cute. I like the colors. I like how they look like... It looks like a denim background almost. It's like that dark blue. Clementine's Coffee. How cool. It's like a little advertisement. Oh, yay! Some airmail envelopes. I'm very excited about these as well because I've been wanting to get some of these. And yeah, so now I have some. Thank you very much. I'm very excited. Oh, look at these. These are like little um, business envelopes couldn't get the words out. Oh, you got like honeycomb on the inside of yours. That's cool. There's nothing on the inside of this one, so this one will just be a regular envelope. But more than likely, I'm going to break this open so that I can use that as a collage because it's really cool honeycomb in there. And then this is an envelope with just priority processing. That's cool. Very cool. Very pretty. Very pretty. S and an E. She gave me my initials. Thank you. Ooh, look at how pretty. Ooh, and they're tiny prints, and they're really cute, and I love them. Those are so cute. This whole package smells so good. Oh, Monster High. Yay. I used to collect Monster High dolls. So cute, and you can color them. Very cute. Look at that little guy. Very cute. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, a piece of your artwork. I was hoping there was a piece of your artwork in here. The tag challenge. She was sending me a tag. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this so that I don't rip it. Because I have a tendency to rip. Accidentally, of course. Oh, look at how pretty this is. <gasps> look at the fairy. It's holding a little charm with a heart. And there's a butterfly and it says magic. And it's got a unicorn that says dream big. Oh, how cute this is. Thank you, man. Oh, and it's embossed with butterflies. So pretty. Thank you so much. You are a very talented lady. I've seen your work all over the group. And I feel really happy to own a piece of something you've made. That makes me happy. I'm going to have to make myself a binder of all, so that I can put all any members that send me like ATCs or tags to be able to put them in there. Some vintage paper. I couldn't read it. I'm bad at reading other people's handwriting. I'm assuming I can open this from this way. We're going to try. And why not? We're going to do that. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. Otherwise, paper. Let me look back at it paper, something, tennis, 
because well, let me just look at them. Oh, they're like, oh, this is like one of those games where you put together, you match up the bottoms and the tops. Is that what that is called? Vintage paper. T-E-N-I-S. Oh, I love the little hula girl. How cute. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you for these. These are badass. And the beer. So cute. I love the hula girl. That's my favorite one because I love it. I have a little hula girl that sits up on my shelf. Ooh, these are cute. What's this? This paper? Ooh, pretty fancy paper. It feels really soft. Very cool. Very pretty. And some more sparkly trim. What's in this magic package? Oh. I'm gonna have to rip it. No, it's. I almost ripped the bottom off of it. Duh. Duh. Use your brain. It's that lump three feet above your ass. Oh, look at the poodle. This is a rub on perfume bar. Not a candle melt. Oh. This is handmade by me in a local workshop. Oh, you made this? Oh. Made really great items. And I love that it has a little poodle on it. Looks like my boy Pooh. I had a poodle named Pooh that looked just like that. So this is maybe this. Oh, that smells really good. That's like my favorite. I love fragrances and perfumes that smell like that. So what do you do? Rub it on you? Like this? Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. I would love to know how to make these. You'll have to like give me some information on what this is and how you to do it. Because I would love to make these for myself. Oh, that smells, mm, 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 that's my favorite, favorite thing. Probably my favorite thing in the whole package. Besides your art and my little, my little hat guy. Well, everything's my favorite, but. Oh, I love the smell of that. It's amazing. Oh, it's so nice. Just makes me want to. Do you notice how ever since I've been smelling stuff, I my whole demeanor got really calm over the course of this video? That's what aromatherapy does to me. It completely makes me just chill out. Nothing else will make me chill out the way aromatherapy does. Anyway, um, I'm going to read this later. This is a really pretty note to me, so I'm going to read that later. <gasps> Ooh, playing cards. Oh, they look like they're from London. Oh, that's another thing I have a little collection of. Anytime I go anywhere lately, not lately because I haven't gone anywhere, but like when I went to see Lady Gaga, I got Lady Gaga playing cards. When I went to Las Vegas, I got Las Vegas playing cards. And now I have London playing cards. I haven't been to London yet, but hopefully I'll go there soon. But these are really, really cool. I'll probably never take them out of the package. It's just how I roll because I really like those. Oh, look at these. Durleys. Durleys. <laughs> Doilies. These are cool. Really pretty. Did you make these? Wait. Nope. Vintage local doilies. They're beautiful. For vintage, these are like really nice. They look brand new. They don't look vintage at all. They don't even smell vintage. These look like they were made yesterday. They're so vibrant. Wow. These were well kept if they're vintage. Really well kept. Beautiful. They feel and smell like they were made two days ago. Really nice. The colors have not faded or... Wow. Very nice. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, it's a stamp set. An Asian stamp set. Look how pretty. 
Oh, I love it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Thank you so much. Yay. Oh, that's cool. I should just leave it on that so I can stamp it. But I think you I think it's cling. Yeah, it'll probably cling. Oh, and it comes with ink too. How cute. That is a cute little set. It really is. Adorable. So cute. I love it. What's this? Oh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh, I love it. I'm hugging it. I brought it up to my face and hugged it. Oh, that looks good. It says divine on it and it looks fancy. I bet you that is so good. You know that's what I'm going to do when I'm done. Is I'm going to eat that chocolate. Handmade paper. Oh. Oh. Look. <laughs> it's a baby wipe and she stamped something on it. That's a cute idea. And there's another one. And this one says, ah, that's funny. It says psycho bitch on it. <laughs> I love it. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Very cute. Oh, look at this. How pretty. This is really pretty. She, she put it through her sewing machine, which, wow, this is really thick to have a sewing machine that went through that. It's pretty good. And then she stamped it and embossed it. Isn't that beautiful? She does such pretty work. Very talented. Kiss my butt, says. <laughs> I love these. It's so cute. I love sassy stamps. Is that a pig? That's a little pig. A pig in tight pants. What's this? Oh, it's an embossed piece of paper. Painty paper. And another piece of embossed painty paper. Really pretty. I love other people's painty papers. Oh, this is a tag in a pocket. How cute is that? That's so pretty. It's very cute. Very cute. Oh, look at that. Embossed and colored. Beautiful. Guardian Angel. How cute. Very cute. More painty papers. More painty papers with stamps on them. You have cute stamps. Oh, look at this. this little... A lot of this stuff is good for my fairy journal. It's all very good for my fairy journal. Which I'm starting soon. I just need to... I thought I was going to get it done before October. But I may not. Because I'm now gearing up for fall and October stuff. But I'm hopefully going to work on it soon. That's really pretty too. That's a fairy journal piece. This is definitely a fairy journal piece too. This is really pretty. Look how beautiful that is. What is that? Whatever that is. Cool. Beautiful. I love that stamps. Awesome. This is really pretty. I love the vibrant colors. Very pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you so much, man. What is this? Oh, I'll put this back like this. I don't want to put that in because I don't want to continually crush it. Thank you so much, man. I think that's everything. Thank you so much. This was so sweet of you to think of me. And put together this beautiful package of goodies. I really appreciate it. You're so sweet. Um... Wow, this was amazing. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy about this. So cool. Thank you so much. That is so I, freaking ironic. Like crazy. Very weird. I would call that more than ironic. That, that I was yesterday. Like you can go look at Trisha Paytas' video. She just put it up the other day. And I just seen it yesterday. 
And I was like, she was like going like this. And I, I just kept eyeballing that. And I'm like, what is that? And then she was like, oh, I got this guard pen and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I have to have that pen. <laughs> I'm like, I have to find out where to get that pen. And I, I think I ended up finding something on eBay, but it wasn't, I, it wasn't exactly the same or something. I don't know. I ended up getting sidetracked though, because of Tigger, um, needing to go out. And then I ended up doing some other things, but, um, yeah, so I'm so thrilled to have that pen. That's so cool. I want to write with it, but I don't have anything to write on right next to me. Oh, yes, I do here. And it might not write on this paper because it's a weird, oh, it does. It's a weird paper. Yay. But thank you, man. Thank you so much. And thank you, Janet. Um, I really appreciate both of you very much. And um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And man, I, I hate that you're not feeling well and going through so much. And I know that you haven't been in the live streams lately. And I miss you in the live streams. I really do. And hopefully... At some point, you'll be able, feel well enough to come and participate in the live streams. But um, overall, I just hope you start to feel better. And I hope things start to get better for you. Um, yeah, it's just not good. And hopefully, if I get to come visit Janet, I'll be able to come visit you and give you a big hug. Um, yeah. So... Because I know what it's like to be sick. Not to that extent. But I know what it's like to be sick. And it just it's never fun. And it sucks. And it's it takes over your life. And it's just awful. So. I feel you. Believe me. I just. Wish that you could. Have a way to get better like I did. I really do. Um, and I would give you my kidneys in a second. If I could. And. Yeah, I hope that at some point you're able to get a kidney transplant and, you know, maybe have a chance at not being sick, you know, that would be wonderful. Um, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this amazing happy mail from two amazing women that I love so much and that I appreciate um, very much and are happy to have them as friends really happy to have them as friends because they're just the most sweetest people um i hope you'll give this a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed subscribe um yeah and leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite uh piece was that you saw um did you like my little my new little pen because it's really cute um yeah I'm so bad at closing out videos. I'm just like, um, okay, duh. <laughs> so anyway, have a great rest of the day. I hope you will do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.